So I uh, welcome everyone uh, to this uh, series of lectures uh, on preparation for agriculture based questions in uh, UPSC exams. Uh, so today we will be dealing with a section on uh, storage pest and its management. So you all know that now the the word management has been most common now and rather than using control. Okay. So so considering the different factors that affect the post harvest loss so when we are considering the output or grain yield that we are that india has achieved through various revolutions so in case uh, we have we come across different uh, different different uh, sections such as cereals pulses oil seeds and all uh, considering all these things so what hinders the output and one of the major reasons being the post harvest losses so this post harvest losses is one of the important factors that affect the output and considering them they are they are majorly caused by two two things that is biotic and abiotic factors so so when we are seeing this biotic factors and abiotic factors so biotic factors it will come uh, it will include insects molds and other bio agents whereas the abiotic factors will include moisture content temperature humidity and spillage so these factors are there okay so considering the different ranges of post harvest losses in india you can see that cereals around 3 3.9 to 6% losses are occurring in an yearly basis then pulses around 4.3 to 4.6.1% uh, then oil seeds around 2.8 to 10.1% so one of the major factors within the biotic factors it includes storage pests so okay so what are storage pests in in india if you are seeing the uh, um, the, uh, the due to the uh, unscientific storage, due to unscientific storage, I'm insisting on them because we come across which different damages caused by insects, rodents, uh, microorganisms, etc., and that will account around 10% of the total damage. Okay, so what will happen is this uh, insects they will feed on the uh, material and they will consume them, and what and considering what they eat and what they damage is comparatively a big drastic thing. So if you see uh, a rodent, the rodent, it only consumes a very minimum part of the grain storage or very grain amount of the grains. But the dam but the, if you consider the losses that it makes by uh, making it un uh, unfit for human consumption by its excreta as well as urine is much more than how, how much it eats up. Okay. So uh, that is one of the major reasons. So, so storage pest, it comes under three main uh, orders, that is Coleoptera, Lepidoptera, and Socoptera. So in case of uh, storage pests, they are classified into two categories in which they are classified as primary storage insect, uh, primary storage pest, which includes internal as well as external feeders. Then comes the secondary storage pest. Okay. So here you come across, this is one of the secondary pests, that is uh, the Orisophilus suramensis. It is also called as saw-toothed grain beetle. Okay, so uh, considering the different uh, ones, we'll start with the primary storage pest. So this comes under the first section, that is the primary. Primary means those insects which uh, only consumes the sound grains uh, as are primary storage insects. Okay, so they only feed on those primary or uh, the, the sound grains which are not at all damaged or not at all even uh, what you call uh, it's not at all uh, in an, any powdered form it's in a whole grain form okay so uh, in case of primary uh, storage pests you come across uh, certain uh, organ uh, insects uh, consisting of both internal as well as external feeders so okay so considering the internal feeders uh, the examples include rice weevil Lesser grain borer, agubis grain moth, pulse beetle, cigarette beetle, drugstore beetle, tamarind beetle, sweet potato weevil, the potato tuber moth, and arachnid beetle. So these are only the names of the important ones. So uh, majorly, I have told you, majorly they were belonging, belonging to the coleopteran, lepidopteran orders. Okay. So these come, they these mainly feed uh, on the sections and they will damage a lot compared to the. Um, the comparing the different losses they are making. Okay. 
then comes the secondary storage space so secondary storage is pressed it, it, that, that means the insects that are uh, insect that feed on the broken as well as already damaged grains is called as secondary storage space okay within that you come across examples such as so tooth green beetle that is orisophila sonamensis flat grain beetle long headed floor beetle as well as green mite okay so uh, considering the different uh, weevils so first we will start with the internal feeder that is the first one that is the rice weevil so the rice weevil is an internal feeder that means it feeds on this uh, sound grains and uh, this rice weevil how it damages is called uh, the young one is called as a grub in case of a beetle so uh, what will happen is uh, the this is the beetle so this one the grubs as well as the adult they cause damage and what will happen is the here what will happen there the grains are hollowed out so the grains are hollowed out uh, and and because of this grains hollowing is there so uh, due to this what will happen is uh, automatically the uh, the kernels of this seed is reduced to powdered form okay uh, and uh, two species as majorly cytophila zoraisae cytophila zmes are there which uh, they starts attacking from the field itself and the adults they cut circular holes on the grains then comes the next one that is the lesser grain borer or hooded grain borer trisopatha dominica so this looks like it's also beetle so come uh, considering the difference in terms of damage here also the grubs and adults are the damaging stages so this grubs and adults they come across for feeding them uh, so what will happen is they will reduce this grain into a mere frass that means they will make it into a powdered form so the grubs eat away the uh, into the grain and feed on the grain dust and are capable of attacking grain externally so they are just feeding inside they will bore inside and inside like they move across okay then the next one that is the agumis grain moth so this one it comes under the gelichida family this is a uh, a lepidopteran pest here also it is uh, feeding uh, on the in uh, internally within the uh, when you consider the grain then comes pulse 